Hello and welcome to uh, imyourdatascientist.com. Um, this is uh, my video on uh, AWS uh, key management services. Uh, so, what is what is key uh, management uh, 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 services? So, it's a it's a managed service that makes it easy for you to create and control encryption uh, keys. So, the, this encryption key is important uh, bit here. I used to encrypt your data. Uh, it uses FIPS 140 validated hardware security module to, to protect the security of your key. So basically, uh, it protects your key, um, AWS key. So we'll, we'll uh, look at how to, how to create uh, um, AWS KMS uh, key management uh, services under IAM, Internet um, Identity Access Management. Uh, um, so uh, AWS key manages management services integrated with most other AWS services to help you protect the data you store. So it's, it's kind of integrated. You can, you can apply, uh, once you create a key management service, you can apply to other services as well, so which is quite uh, helpful when in terms of uh, decrypting and, and encrypting and, and decrypting your, uh, your uh, uh, data. Um, AWS Key Management Service also integrated with AWS CloudTrail to provide uh, you with logs of all key usage in, to help you meet your regulatory and compliance needs. So what AWS uh, CloudTrail is, it, as it says, CloudTrail, trail means to, to track uh, all your accesses, all your uh, um, uh, who access what, so on and so forth, so how many services you have, um, if there is any errors, any, any hiccups in, in your system, it can, it can trail, it can log, it can monitor your, uh, your processes. So this is what uh, CloudTrail is for. So without uh, further ado, let's dive into uh, KMS, uh, Key Management Services. So I will click Services, then I'll look for Internet um, Identity Access Identity and Access Management IAM. Um, then, so once it appears, then you would you would see the, the dashboard of uh, Identity and Access Management. So, how do you create uh, uh, key management services? It's uh, under Encryption uh, Key, and click Get Start Now. Um, then make sure the uh, um, um, the regions uh, uh, is uh, selected appropriately. Um, so create a, a key called my first uh, key. Uh, to do that, you need to uh, click create key alias that. Then you say description is KMS on S3, for S3, rather click next, um, click next, if you want to add a tag, you can add a tag, so for example, name out, say this is my uh, uh, key man management services, Uh, under IAM, Internet Access Management, Identity Access Management, keep on saying uh, I as Internet some, for some reason. Uh, so click Next uh, and you see a range of uh, uh, um, uh, keys available here. Uh, so you can see there are quite few uh, uh, users available, users and roles, so we will select this and we want to apply that uh, uh, key management to this uh, user called AWS student and click next again choose uh, permission uh, to uh, allow um, AWS student um, to, to use this uh, uh, key click next and you, you generate um, JSON uh, query uh, JSON data set then you can click uh, finish 
and it'll take take time. Uh, so that uh, finishes. So the key we've created is called my first key. It's available here, and if you were to click that again, uh, we want to copy uh, copy this A R N. Let's copy it somewhere. Somewhere A R N, and we also wanted to copy its its ID. Um, so the key ID is nothing but uh, after our uh, forward slash uh, key. So if we first to bolt that and next thing we want to do is we want to uh, configure cloud trail to store all the logs into s3 bucket so let's see how how we can do that uh, we'll, we'll also use make use of that key id which locates uh, um, key management services the one we just created so uh, to create uh, a cloud trail uh, services I can remember cloud trail is somewhere management stood management tool cloud trail there you go uh, cloud trail um, it will take some time to 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 come up so when you uh, 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 select cloud trail you will see a dashboard and you won't see something like create cloud trail or something so you need to click either uh, event history or click view trail what it does is it gives you a, a button saying create a, a trail so we we'll click create trail uh, we will name it so how do you uh, create a uh, uh, create a uh, cloud trail is uh, type in your uh, uh, trail name and say apply trail to all region say yes uh, then leave all the settings as, as it is. Lambda, uh, not doing any any uh, um, any calculation at the moment. So uh, lambda uh, is quite uh, uh, useful when it comes to API and functions and uh, so on and so forth. So that's for next next tutorial. But let's look at uh, S3 uh, simple storage uh, services. Um, and when it uh, comes to uh, create new bucket, uh, click yes, and just give your name, say my cloud trail bucket, and the number. So the number we uh, we said was uh, something like something the ID uh, of the key ID of that uh, bucket, that uh, uh, um, key we have created. Um, or you can use any uh, any uh, uh, number, but I've just used uh, the the uh, uh, key management service uh, we've created its IDs just to make it make it simpler. You could use type in random numbers. Let's see if it allows us to uh, um, create that uh, uh, allows us to create a cloud trail. Let's create. See what happens. Uh, should uh, allow us to create uh, that cloud trail and this is what we have just created uh, uh, one very first uh, cloud trail uh, so how to use that let's see how, how how can we configure both of them so as you can see from uh, uh, the screen the uh, s3 uh, um, bucket is already created here the one we just created so just to click in there it's empty there's nothing in there there's got aws log uh, folder within that cloud trail it, as it suggests it's got uh, um, probably hopefully all the uh, folders are uh, it's got one uh, zip file um, json file i think uh, so first to click that and you can you can download that if you want just to see what's what's in that file uh, i would like to see what's in that file open uh cancel why is it open visual studio yeah so if you were to open that into uh notepad plus plus it looks like so you can see access key id the event time 
escape uh, source IP address, user agent, request ID, uh, lots of lots of inf information there. Uh, let's upload a, a file. Uh, I'll add an image uh, on my PC. Uh, it's this happy face. Uh, click upload. Uh, you should be able to uh, see that. Uh, so that's uploading there. Uh, hundred percent. There you go. So it's it's uploaded there. Um, so see how. Let's see how we can apply uh, key management service to it. Click next. Click next. Set properties. So within that set properties, you can use this and. Uh, custom ARNS or you can use uh, AWS um, so to see uh, what this uh, image, is, image looks like let's have a look how it looks like whether it's encrypted or not so it gives us a uh, XML uh, uh, file saying error um, error and it says access denied uh, why uh, it's giving us uh, access denied because we need to make this make this as public so now it's public be available if you try and uh, try and do that again should hopefully uh, uh, provide us something uh, just a request was uh, side encryption with Adobe key management requires a double signature. Uh, okay, there you go. So it requires us to 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 use uh, AWS key management uh, to to access this this file. Uh, so which is kind of really great uh, feature of cloud services. So now let's look at uh, um, Cloud Trail where we were we wanted to monitor uh, our upload and. Uh, um, our activity so you can see a user called I am your data scientist um, he the event is his uh, occurred during his uh, session uh, so you can see the event ID uh, he's, he's, he's created uh, a bucket uh, uh, using this IP address the request the time uh, uh, which key is used, so on and so forth. Uh, you can see further view event, so you can. It's also provide you as uh, as a JSON, so you can also have a look. If you're familiar with JSON, let's have a look uh, in the cloud view in the uh, S3 bucket we have created. Um, is there a, if there is any uh, new there's something called there was only one uh, folder now it's got two folders so under cloud digest and I would say eighteen eight four then the uh, file we you can just download that is so you can see cloud uh, trail it keeps track of all the all the uh, events that occurs uh, for this user so let's have a look using using notepad plus plus um, so first to go to download and I think this would be the the file file I'll be looking for this one I think uh open that as you can see it's uh, it gives you uh, 
AWS account ID, digest start name, um, bucket, SHA signature algorithm, which algorithm has created, uh, used, so on and so forth. So it's quite handy, uh, quite useful information there. Um, so now look at uh, um, IAM, uh, access in um, identity and access uh, uh, management. Um, then encryption key. So this is the encryption key we've created. So now we're saying add this encryption key to this user, AWS student. So just need to tick here to allow it to use, uh, allow these users to use encryption key we've created. So click remove and so click, you can add or remove this user, click remove, click yes remove. And again click add and you can see the user there and click attach and you will see the user appears again um, so in this uh, uh, tutorial we've looked at uh, what uh, KMS is KMS uh, um, key uh, management services is to, is to manage your uh, services uh, with great uh, control uh, security control security features such as encrypting your keys and encrypting your data that is important uh, and you can uh, use CloudTrail to see uh, see your logs of all key usage uh, to help you uh, regulatory uh, uh, and compliance uh, needs and then uh, this is what uh, uh, KMS is and so we created uh, first we created KMS uh, master key then we configured uh, to allow it to store Cloud trail into bucket uh, S3 bucket uh, simple storage services. Then we uploaded an image and uh, remember that error came up saying access denied. Then we uh, made made it public uh, that file. Then uh, a message was uh, saying oh the, it needs uh, encryption key to uh, um, decrypt. Uh, then we uh, used uh, monitor activity and looked at the JSON um, JSON uh, file where it had all the logs uh, of events. Um, then we looked at uh, manage encryption key, how to manage, how to, uh, how to uh, add a user onto uh, um, key management service and attached and detached our user. Uh, thank you for watching uh, my video. Thank you very much. Uh, see you next time. Bye.